Hello everyone, today I will be discussing the Adolescent Health and Development Program. The Adolescent Health and Development Program targets adolescents aged 10 to 19 years old. It is mainly guided by the Convention on the Rights of Children which states that the program must be in the best interest of the child. Based on the Department of Health or DOH Administrative Order 2013-0013 or the National Policy and Strategic Framework on Adolescent Health and Development Administrative Order, the program primarily aims to provide adolescents access to quality health care services. This means that there is increased accessibility of adolescent-friendly facilities, programs, and health providers for the Filipino youth. We have here the list of contents, introduction, objectives, program components, partner institutions, policies and laws, strategies, action points and timeline, program accomplishments or status, calendar of activities, and lastly, the statistics. Administrative Order 34A Series of 2000, the Adolescent and Youth Health Policy was issued in April 2000, creating the Adolescent and Youth Health Sub-Program under the Program for Children's Health Cluster of Family Health. In 2006, the DOH created the Technical Committee for Adolescent and Youth Health Program. The committee embarked on a strategic plan accelerated action on adolescent health. Due to an increasing health risky behavior among our Filipino adolescents, the DOH embarked on revising the current policy and addressed the major adolescents' problems. In 2016, DOH recognized the need for harmonization of programs. AHDP program convened the first DOH. The external and internal TWGs on AHDP are multi-sectoral, collaborative approaches to fulfill the goal mission and mission of the program. In 2017, both TWGs revise the strategic framework and develop a logical framework and monitoring and evaluation framework of the program. The AHDP envisions a country with well-informed, empowered, responsible, and healthy adolescents who are leaders in the society. Its mission is to ensure that all adolescents have access to comprehensive health care and services in an adolescent-friendly environment. For our objective, it improves the health status of adolescents and enables them to fully enjoy their rights to health. Now let's move on to program components. This includes nutrition, national safe motherhood, family planning, oral health, national immunization program, Dangerous Drugs Abuse Prevention and Treatment, Harmful Use of Alcohol, Tobacco Control, Mental Health, Violence and Injury Prevention, Women and Children Protection, and HIV or STI. For our policies and laws, number one, Republic Act 10354, the Responsible and Reproductive Health Act of 2012. Number two, Administrative Order No. 20130013, National Policy and Strategic Framework on Adolescent Health and Development. Number 3, Administrative Order No. 20170012, Guidelines on the Adoption of Baseline Primary Health Care Guarantees for All Filipinos. And number 4, Proclamation 99 Series of 1992, Linggo ng Kabataan. Next, Strategies, Action Points, and Timeline Number 1. Health Promotion and Behavior Change for Adolescents Number 2. Adolescent Participation in Governance and Policy Decisions Number 3. Developing or Transforming Healthcare Centers to Become Adolescent-Friendly Facilities 4. Expanding Health Insurance to Young People 5. Enhancing Skills of Service Providers families and adolescents. 6. Strengthening partnerships among adolescent groups, government agencies, private sectors, civil society organizations, families and communities. 7. Resource mobilization. 8. Regular assessment and evaluation. Now I'm going to share with you the program accomplishments or status. Health education and promotion, advocacy and awareness raising activities such as adolescent health TV segment and healthy young ones. Then provision of health services, 
establishment of adolescent friendly health facilities nationwide includes core package of adolescent health services available at the different levels of the healthcare system and in settings outside of the healthcare system. Institutionalized linkage between school, community, civil society organizations, and health facilities in a service delivery network. Trained health and non-health personnel nationwide with the following Competency training on adolescent health Adolescent job aid training Adolescent health education and practical training Healthy young ones training and Adolescent Health and Development Program Manual of Operations Training. For our calendar of activities, the celebration of Linggo ng Kabataan is every second week of December. For our statistics, 15 to 19 years old, 16.16% are experiencing physical violence and 4.4% are experiencing sexual violence. 13 to 15 years old, 47.7% are experiencing bullying and 4.8% are experiencing cyberbullying. Adolescents, 12.4% are wasted and 8.3% are overweight and obese. For pregnant adolescents, 37.2% are nutritionally at risk. In the year 2013, 47 up from 57 live birth per 1,000 women are 15 to 19 years old. One in three young people report having premarital sex, and males are more likely to report having premarital sex than females, and 36% of males reported having early sexual encounters compared to 29% of females. In the year 2017, 629 new HIV antibody zero positive individuals are in 25 to 34 year age group while 30% were youth age 15 to 24 years old. And that ends my report about Adolescent Health and Development Program. Thank you for listening.